It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements, past the fire station, when what do you think happened? <laughs> Oh dear. Sorry, Brum, said the fireman. <coughs> Looks like we owe you a car wash. Never been so clean. Thank you, he said. Always glad to help, said the fireman. Bye! And off Brum went all squeaky clean. Then what do you think he saw? A big bunch of shining new balloons. They look nice, he thought. And he wasn't the only one. saved up all her pocket money to buy some. There you go, said the balloon seller. Wait for me, said Brown, and he set off after her. But what do you think? There were two bored children with nothing much to do. Let's see your balloon, said one. Let's see your doll, said the other. Leave her alone, said Brum. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Let go of her doll. Okay, they said. Away flew the doll higher and higher. Oh dear. The big children didn't care. They thought it was funny. But Brum knew just what to do. To the top of the building, Brum began to feel funny. But just then, guess who came along? The firemen were out for a practice run. Look up there, said one. It's Brum, shouted his friend, on the roof.
He's trying to get my dolly back, said the little girl. Leave this to us, said the fireman. Now, Brom, you shouldn't be up here, said the fireman. It's a good thing we came along. Thanks, Brum, said the little girl. And don't you ever go up there again, Brum, said the fireman. I won't, not ever. See you, said Brum. Serves them right, thought Brum. Bye! Bye-bye! And off he brummed happily all the way home. Thank <laughs> you.
It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He brum, brum, brummed his way along the pavement and into the park. And what do you think he saw? A face flying high in the sky. Oh, my wheels of wipers, he thought. What's that? flying in the sky. How did that get there? When he came closer, Brum could see the face in the sky was fastened to a long string held by a boy. It was a kite. The boy was flying. Can I have a go? said Brum. You've come along just in time, Brum. I could do with a break, said the boy. and he went off to get an ice cream, leaving Brum to hold on to the kite. It was a very strong and determined kite, and Brum found it difficult to hold on to. I'll put my brakes on, he thought. So he did. He braked as hard as he could. And what do you think happened? Brum's brakes held fast, but the kite pulled harder. It pulled so hard, in fact, that it pulled Brum's starting handle right out and blew away with it. Must be yours, said the carpenter to the boy. And this is yours, Brum, said the boy. And these must be yours, madam. Excitement for one day. Time for me to go. 
But then what do you think happened? Rom had chased so hard after the kite, he completely ran out of petrol and his engine couldn't go. I know just what to do, said the carpenter. Come on, son. Give me a hand. And what do you think they did? They made a kite shape and fixed it to brown. Giggled Brum. <laughs> that does feel funny. Ready, Brum, said the boy. Anchors away! <laughs> and the wind blew Brum, just like a kite. Happily, all the way home. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement. When, what do you think happened? He began to feel funny. He couldn't steer properly, and his battery began to run out of power just by the rubbish dump. 
drum began to feel even worse. Oh dear Brum, what a place to break down. Place where we can get a good price for this bit of rubbish, said one. It's a useless car, said the other. But they took him just the same. Do you think they went? They took him to the car breaker's yard. Place for old cars that nobody wants anymore. went off to find the scrapyard owner. One by one, the old cars were lifted up by a big grabber. They were put into the crusher so their scrap metal could be used again and made into new things. It was a good thing Brum's battery was flat. He wasn't awake, so he didn't know what was happening. But who do you think came along just in time? It was the kind man from the museum. Stop! He shouted. Brum was saved. The museum man had come to the yard to look for spare bits of old cars. The last thing he expected to find was Brum. Look at you, he said. You're so dirty. However did you get here? Is there something wrong? Uh-oh, flat battery. And off he went to find Brum a new battery. The yard owner was busy counting his money when the two men who had found Brum in the rubbish dump came along. What will you give us for the little car? They said. There, that should do you, Brum, said the man from the museum. Now, let me see about getting you away from this place. And suddenly, Brum woke up. Oh, my bonnet and bumper. 
Where am I? I don't like this place. I want to go home. So when the men weren't looking his way, he went. I don't see any little car, said the yard owner. You're wasting my time. Uh-oh. Brum hadn't wasted any time. He soon found his way out and made his escape, brumming as fast as he could all the way home. day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements when what do you think he noticed? Lots of photographs of a strange-looking lady in a very funny hat. Children were being taken inside the theatre to hear the lady singing. Now, Brum didn't know what a theatre was, so he decided to go in too. But there was a big man there who said, No cars allowed in here. It's not fair, thought Brum. I want to see inside. But what do you think? Around the corner, at the back of the theatre, there was another way in. And the man guarding the door there wasn't on the lookout for little cars. Once inside the theatre, 
Ron followed the sound of the music, looking for the children. They weren't very happy. Ron wasn't very happy either. It was getting dark where he was. And then, what do you think? There's Brum! shouted the children. The singer was furious. You! She shouted. And ran off the stage after Brum. Then, what do you think Brum saw? A pantomime horse who lived in the theatre. Please, please, show me the way out of here, cried Brum. The fierce lady singer's after me. Oh, no, said the horse. Oh, no, that's terrible. Go that way, said the back legs. No, that way, said the front legs. I haven't got time for you to make up your mind, said Brum. This is an emergency. Please let me through. And in his panic to run away, what do you think happened to Brum? His back number plate fell off. Oh, no! said the horse. Don't be frightened, little girl. Come back! But it was too late. The chase was on. Lady Singer gave up, exhausted, and Brum found somewhere to hide. <coughs> shouted the pantomime horse. There's no need to hide, little car. Come out, see what I've got. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, said Brum. I really was all wound up. You see? Nay. Nay. And then what do you think happened? The pantomime horse did a little dance to calm Brum down. Brum, said Brum. 
It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming along the pavement when he began to feel tired. He looks tired as well, thought Brum. Wonder where he's going? Then he noticed lots of other people going the same way. They must be going for a picnic, thought Brum. Hello! said an old lady. She was going too. So were a man and his girlfriend. And a boy playing football. Brum forgot to feel tired. He loved playing football. So off he went. was tired. And they were having a picnic. But the lady was feeding the ducks. The 
the man and his girlfriend weren't very interesting. Brum wanted to play football. It was beginning to get very hot. Oh, thirsty work this, thought the park keeper. Wish I could stop for a drink. But he had too much grass to cut. What you're doing? Can't you see there's a game of football here? To me! To me! And then what do you think happened? Oops! Runaway mower! Oops! Shouted Brum. Watch out! Runaway mower! There was no stopping the mower. All Brum could do was chase after it. Last, he made it turn, and back they went. Look out! The mad mower's coming back! Called it down. Thank you, Brom. Well done. They all thought it was a good joke, but they laughed a bit too soon. The mower wasn't the only thing to get wet that day. The park keeper turned his water sprinkler on. Oh, my wheels and wipers! thought Brum. Well, at least one person has managed to have a truly relaxing day. Brum chuckled to himself as he went, brumming happily all the way home.
It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement. When what do you think he saw? It was a family getting ready to go off for the day. Brum, 
Tom was amazed. Wherever could they be going where they'd need all these things, he wondered. Dad was getting really fed up. I hope this is the lot, he said. Wait for me, said the man next door. And before Brum had time to find out where they were going, he felt himself picked up and piled on top of their truck. They were off. children. We can see the sea! We can see the sea! Brum was surprised. They'd come to the seaside. They were all having a wonderful time. Playing tennis. Digging a big hole. Making tea. Oops, sorry, Dad. <laughs> Never mind. Back to work. Digging. And exploring. So Brom did. Well done, Brom. No problem, said Brom. And off he went to explore like the twins. But where were the twins? Mum was worried. Auntie was worried too. No need. Here they come. The 
Thank you, Bron. Please to help, said Bron. Time for home, said Dad. Bye, Brum. Come again another day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. And off Brum went, brumming happily all the way home. Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements when what do you think he saw? A little girl and her dolly all on their own, crying real tears. Cry, said Bram. <laughs> but I'm lost, said the little girl. Lost, said Bram. I can't find my house. It's on the road near the horses by the seaside. <laughs> There's no need to cry. Now put up your umbrella. Looks like rain. That's right. And brum along with me. So off they brum together. All around the town.
bronze or next. Oh, said the little girl. It's a little dark. It's lost, poor thing. Is his name on his collar? said Brom. Yes, it says his name's Max and he lives in Church Road. Can you see a church anywhere? Yes, I can. Over there, up the hill. Let's go then, said Brom. They were just coming up the hill. Then what do you think happened? An old lady's shopping bag was so heavy that it burst right in front of them. Well caught, Brom. Oh, thank goodness, said the old lady. If it wasn't for you, all my shopping would have rolled right down to the bottom of the hill. Please to help, said Brom. And by the time the little girl picked up all the tins, the packets and the oranges, there was only just room for Max. My house is this way, said the old lady, up near the church. little girl unloaded him. That shopping was really heavy. When all the shopping was safely home, the old lady gave the little girl a cake to say thank you. Goodbye, they all said. And round the corner, there was the church. And there was Church Road. This way to Max's house, said Brom. I can see someone who's been missing him very much. Thank you, Brom. Come on then, your turn now. Then what do you think they saw? Pictures on houses. Lion. Two elephants. And horses by the sea. Bye. 
It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements. When what do you think he saw? A boy in a wheelchair, seeing how fast he could go. Race you, he said to Brum. Come on, Brum. Brum was enjoying himself. Come on, Brum! This racing was great fun. And that gave Brum an idea. Where do you think they went? To the kart racing track. Drivers were practicing to see how fast they could go. The boy in the wheelchair wished he could race a cart too. And then, what do you think happened? Brom found the man who owned the cart. And he had a cart that needed a driver. Somebody hadn't turned up that day. Brom was excited. He knew just the person. Brom here thinks you could race one of these, said the man. Now, said Brom, let's show him how fast we can race. impressed. They were very fast indeed. The boy had qualified for the big race. Last minute check all drivers. Last minute check all drivers. In the pits, all the cars and all the drivers were getting ready for the race. excited and a bit nervous. Don't worry, said Brom. I know you can do it. Good luck! And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the big race of the day to discover who will be a new champion.
course, the boy began to overtake. He went faster and faster. He was winning. It was the last lap, and he was in the lead. Checkered flag went up. He'd won. I knew you'd do it, said Brown. What a celebration there was. Brown's friend was a champion. But where was Brown? Come on, Brown. Thank you, Brown. And off Brum raced, brumming happily all the way home. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement when what do you think he saw? A girl doing gymnastics. What are you doing? asked Brum. Practicing being upside down, said the girl. 
Seems like a funny way to enjoy yourself, thought Brum. You have to practice to be a great gymnast, said the girl. saw something even funnier. He thought it was a man on half a bicycle. He's looking for something, Brum, said the girl. Must be the other half of his bicycle, thought Brum. Let's follow him, said the girl. Shh, shh, Brum. The cycling man still hadn't found what he was looking for. Brum. Another extraordinary person was out and about. The man painting the road wasn't very happy. There was no sign of the man on half a bicycle, but there was something else. Great, big, giant footsteps. Come on, Brum, said the girl. Maybe it's a giant, said Brum. <laughs> a giant, thought Brum. Are you following me, little car? said the giant. No, not really, said Brum. But the girl knew who he was. They'd worked together to give shows. He was her friend. Just then, along came the man on half a bicycle. He worked with them as well. The girl showed Brum the secret of how her friend walked on stilts. Hurry up, it's showtime, said the cycling man. You can't work with paint on your boots. Now you can help us with our act, Brum. the show.
thanks very much, said the stilt walker. Loved your act, Brum. And yours. Thanks, Brum. Any time, said Brum. And off he went, brumming happily all the way home. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brumming his way along when what do you think he saw? A little girl's bedroom outside on the pavement. A bedroom outside, thought Brum. What's going on here? We're moving house today, said the little girl. There was lots to do, and Brum was pleased to help.
before too long, everything was safely packed into the van. But then, what do you think happened? Bram felt himself picked up and packed away. The removal men thought they had to remove Bram as well. Oh, my wheels and wipers, thought Bram. Now what? the little girl. I never said goodbye. He must have gone home. Come on, shouted her mum and dad. It's a very long way to the new house. We must get going. Goodbye, old house. Mum and Dad were surprised. It's Brum, said the little girl. He's come to help. But he can't stay here, said her dad. He's got his own home to go back to. Make up your minds, said the removal men. We haven't got all day. Brum was worried. Nobody knew what to do. Then what do you think happened? A friend of Dad's came along just in time. some more friends. was removed back to the big town. Stop, said Brom. Thank you. I know where I am. I can find my way from here. Running, hop, 
happily all the way home. Welcome to the world of children's videos. It's video collection's special favourites for our young audience. Beginning with the adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Hurry up, Thomas! Life on the island of Sodor can be very busy, but the engines enjoy their work on the railway. Sometimes the adventures Thomas has with his friends land them in trouble. Boxes and bags burst everywhere. Oh! Grown Percy. Careful, Thomas! Called his driver, but it was too late. Thomas came off the rails and Percy sunk. Ow! exclaimed Percy. So join Thomas, Percy, James, Toby, Gordon and the Fat Controller for lots of Thomas the Tank Engine adventures. From trains to canal boats, it's that troublesome twosome Rosie and Jim. Come aboard the ragdoll with John, Jim and of course Rosie as they cruise into all sorts of tangles. <laughs> oh no, what would John say? And they meet all sorts of creatures. Excuse me, are you a monster? Even John faces one or two problems. But it's all great fun for Rosie and Jim. Un, one, two, two, three. three. Say bonjour to Touch TV. I'm a touch. Je suis une tot TV. Tub. Tiny. We're the tots and tot TV. One, two, three, boo! I didn't say go. I'm yeah. a tot. Tiny Tilly and Tom like to try fun new games and make fun new things. One, two, three, boo! I'm a tot. Je suis une tot TV. Tiny. But sometimes the things they do don't go quite as planned. So join those three on Tots TV. And when it comes to mischief, there's only one place to be. With Ratty, Toad and Mole in the classic story of Wind in the Willows. He's on the open road. 
rambling where you please on the open road. <laughs> but what happens when Toad goes too far? He's been found guilty on the clearest evidence. Nineteen years. Nineteen years? And another year for being green. Twenty years. And the weasels take over. Find out in the exciting adventures of the wind in the willows. Yes, it certainly is a children's world with so many great video stories to choose from. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement when what do you think he heard? And then what do you think he saw? Two bad robbers. robbers running away. Help! shouted the bank manager. Don't worry, I'll help, said Brum. I'll chase them. Oh, 
romantic show. Even Brom slip, but they hadn't. Brom was already inside and was watching them through the curtains. The magicians were friends of Brom. the lady about the robbers and she looked through the curtains to see where they were. Brum had a plan. She whispered to her partner, do this for Brum. We need someone from the audience to help us, said the magicians. Do we have two volunteers? were glad to hide. The police were on their way. Wait here, said Brum. They won't be long. Surprised. Nothing like this had ever happened to them before. Thanks, Brum, he said. We've got the robbers, but where is the stolen money? Here it is, said Brum. Magic, said the police. I'll take care of it, said Brum.
It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brumming his way along the pavement, but the traffic was so noisy that he turned into the park for some peace and quiet. The baby's brother and sister weren't very happy, so its mum tried to soothe it. But the brother and sister still weren't happy. They began to fight over their skipping rope. No need to fight, said Ron. Free can play. to roll away. Oh, the baby! shouted Brum.
all my wheels and wipers. You had everybody really worried, said Brom. Got to get you back to your mum. Could have lost their baby. And then what do you think he noticed? The baby hadn't been in the runaway pram at all. The pram had run away by itself. They all thought it was very funny. But they were glad Bron saved the pram. Even though the baby was with them all the time. Thank you, Brum, said the children. What a fuss, thought Brum. Babies. And off he went, brumming happily all the way home. It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavements when 
Just by a zebra crossing, what do you think he saw? Another kind of zebra. It was a photographer and her assistant on their way to take pictures of animals. Suddenly, it stopped in its tracks. They've had a puncher, thought Brum. The lady was cross. I thought I told you to check the tires, she said. Now, what do you propose to do? Who's going to carry my tent and equipment? Oh, oh, well, this little girl could carry something, said her assistant. Please to help, said Brum. This is the place. This way. Stop! We'll set up camp here. Bring the equipment! Camels! No good they keep moving. Make them stand still. Give them something to eat. Oh, 
raccoon. Ravishing. Thank you. 